Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. This is part two of a video that you have highly, highly requested. That is my favorite recipes I've ever created that are WW and calorie friendly part two. I put out part one of this video a few months ago and you guys kept asking in the comments for a part two where I share with you some of the favorite recipes that I've created or made over the course of my weight loss journey. And I could make 20 of these videos. There are so many amazing recipes that I have fallen in love with, recipes that I've made time and time again. So I'm here today to share with you another 10 of my all time favorite recipes. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do upload most days of the week so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below. I am going to link all 10 of these recipes for you. I didn't do that in the last video. I just sent you over to my recipe website, but I'm going to make it a little bit easier on you and just link these directly down in that description box. You can find all of my recipes on my recipe website, which is jenswwjourney.com. That will be linked down in the description box as well. You'll also find nutrition coaching for macro and calories personalized to you. Highly recommend this. As well as if you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, head on over and join us there, are also down in that description box. So we have 10 more absolutely incredible recipes to talk about, so let's jump in. Like I mentioned, I have made hundreds and hundreds of recipes throughout my weight loss journey, and there are so many that I absolutely love and make time and time again. Now, there are a few that aren't my favorites and I probably wouldn't make again, but these 10 recipes rank at the very top and have become basically the love of my life when it comes to WW recipes. I will be popping in a picture and giving you points and calories for all 10 of these recipes. Recipe number one has to be my all time favorite recipe that I have made, I would say in the last several months, not to mention it being my favorite recipe. So many of you almost daily DM me, send me messages or comment on my video and let me know that this has become one of your family favorite recipes. And these are my Terry Aki meatballs. These meatballs are incredible. They are the perfect sweetness with the savory of the meatball. You can eat them all on their own, add them over rice, make a bowl out of these. I've even wrapped these up in a low point tortilla and made a teriyaki meatball wrap that was delicious. They're very low in points. You can modify the ingredients to your taste buds. And like I said, you can pair these meatballs with just about anything and they taste so good. They are family friendly, kid friendly, and in my house, they are husband approved. Recipe number two is one that I made recently that I have been loving and I will absolutely make again, and that was my apple coffee cake. Now I made this for a breakfast recipe. It's delicious, it's sweet, it's cinnamony. You could change up the fruit in this coffee cake or admit the fruit altogether, and it's such a decadent item to have for breakfast. I paired mine with an egg or a couple eggs as well as some additional fruit and it was the perfect breakfast. It was filling, satisfying, and it was sweet. And sometimes we just want something sweet for breakfast. It is extremely low point and low calorie that you can pair it with some other items and it still falls in a really good range of points and calories for breakfast. Recipe number three is one that I've been making before I ever started my weight loss journey. I got this recipe from a family friend several years ago, and it is one that my husband actually asks for. And let me just tell you, he complains a lot that we have casseroles a lot. And this is actually one casserole that he will ask for. And this is my chicken and wild rice casserole. Now, before I started my weight loss journey, I made this a lot more calorie dense, not as point friendly, a lot more fattening. And since starting my weight loss journey, I healthified this recipe. I've made this with lighter ingredients, so it's calorie friendly and point friendly, but it's so delicious. This casserole, this big pan is gone within a couple days at my house. And like I said, if my husband's asking for a casserole on repeat, 
it has to be good. Recipe number four is a dessert recipe that is perfect as we move into spring and summer, and this is my strawberry pie. It is extremely, extremely easy to make. I bought a pie crust that I had to bake in the oven. You could buy a pre-done pie crust in a pan, add in the strawberries, the jello mixture, which gives it this glazed strawberry vibe. It is so light, refreshing, delicious, and so low point in calorie for a dessert. We popped on just a little bit of whipped cream. You could use fat-free ready whip. You could use cool whip. You could even add vanilla ice cream. It's so, so good. And like I said, it's light, it's refreshing, but it's a great dessert because it is low calorie and low point. So you can absolutely work it into your day. This is another item that didn't last very long in my house. My next recipe is actually a breakfast recipe and I have made this more than once. I actually made this on a Saturday morning for my husband and myself because we both absolutely love it. And these are my sausage breakfast muffins. What I love about these is they're portable. So you can take them with you as you run out the door in the morning. They make great snacks. I've been known to have these as a mid-morning or an afternoon snack and they're so delicious with the muffin texture of the baking mix that's in these with the sausage and the eggs. They're savory but that sausage adds that little bit of sweetness depending on the sausage you use. They're just really, really delicious. You can have one, two, three, because they're so low point and low calorie. They're packed with protein. They're balanced with carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats. They're just absolutely incredible. One of my very favorite quick, easy, on-the-go breakfasts. Next up is a casserole. Now this casserole I really like. My husband liked it, but he hasn't asked for this again. But for me, I would absolutely make this again because it was very, very decadent, but I was still able to work it into my weight loss journey. And this is my Dorito casserole. This is all the taco vibes topped with nacho cheese Doritos for a crunch. It doesn't make the best leftovers. I'll let you know that up front because of the fact that there are Doritos on top, the Doritos become soggy in the refrigerator. So if you want to enjoy this recipe as leftovers, I would only add Doritos to the individual serving. So add the Doritos as you're eating the casserole versus putting them on top and then popping that in the refrigerator for leftovers. It was taco-y. It had the crunch of the Doritos, so it felt really decadent with those corn chips on top. It was really delicious. I topped it with a little bit of light sour cream. It was filling, it was satisfying. I would absolutely make this again. Next up is a slow cooker dessert. Now I've made a few desserts in the slow cooker. Some of them I really liked, some of them I didn't. I often find that it becomes a little soggy for some reason in the slow cooker. I much would rather prepare them on the stovetop or in a skillet or even in the oven, but this particular slow cooker recipe is so good. This is my tropical dump cake. You can use sugar-free cake mix or regular cake mix. You dump it all in a crock pot, you set it, you forget it, you come back and you have a delicious, delicious dessert. All of those tropical fruits that you add to the cake mix just makes it very moist and decadent and it's not soggy. The cake mix is a perfect consistency once cooked in the crock pot. It's a very low point in calorie. Again, top it with your favorite ice cream or whipped cream. We ate this rather quickly and you could even change up the fruit if you're not a tropical fruit person, you could add blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, really anything you want to this. In fact, peaches would be incredible in this dump cake recipe, and it's so easy. It's five minutes to put it in the crock pot and it comes out perfect every time. My next recipe comes courtesy of TikTok. Well, the idea or the inspiration came from TikTok, and this is the Buffalo Chicken TikTok Wrap. I made this in a meal prep for lunch, and it is so so good. I copied the TikTok folding method of the wrap, but I added buffalo chicken and cheese and onions. It was so good, you guys, and it made a great meal prep. I just popped the actual wrap into my air fryer. You could throw it in the oven. You could even microwave it. It was so good, so flavorful, so low point, and really easy to make. And you can take this whole folding of the wrap concept from TikTok and make really any type of wrap that you want. Sweet, savory, dessert, you name it. You just use the TikTok folding method and you have a perfect wrap. It is handheld, it's portable, it'd be great to take to the office or in the car. It was really, really good. And again, change up the filling and you have so many varieties. We have to throw a pasta recipe in here and this is one that both my husband and I really enjoyed and this is my sheet pan all crust lasagna. So this is prepared on a sheet pan, but it's 
lasagna. It's a thinner version. So the noodles get nice and crispy and the cheese is perfectly melted. It is so good and it is so easy because it is made on a sheet pan. It's a great busy weeknight or busy weekend meal and you get the indulgence and the decadence of lasagna for so many less calories and points. And because it's made on a sheet pan, you're using less of the ingredients so it keeps the points lower and the calories lower but you get all of the flavor of a rich, creamy, decadent lasagna. Highly, highly recommend. And recipe number 10, I feel like I saved the best dessert recipe for last. This this recipe is so good. These are my Reese's Pieces Monster Cookies. You guys, you have to make these. Yes, we use re real Reese's Pieces in these cookies. They are so, so good. It is a big cookie for the points and calories. It's soft, it's chewy, and those Reese's Pieces just give you the taste of a bakery cookie. So you feel like you're just really indulging in these monster cookies, but they are so low point in calorie. They have chocolate chips and Reese's Pieces. So, so, so good. Highly recommend making this recipe. We've made these a couple of times and they disappear within a couple of days. In fact, the last time I brought half the batch to my real estate office, I ran an errand, came back, they were completely gone. You guys have raved about these cookies, so I absolutely wanted to share them. If you haven't seen that meal prep or made these cookies, make these. They are family friendly. Even my husband liked them who doesn't eat chocolate, and obviously my real estate office, they loved these cookies. So those are 10 more of my favorite WW recipes of all time. Like I said, I could make 20 of these videos. I have so many recipes that I love. Stay tuned, I am working on a little something for you guys when it comes to my recipes, but you can always gain access to every recipe that I've made, even the recipes prior to implementing my recipe website on jenswwjourney.com. I will of course link all 10 of these down in the description box for you, so it's one click and you're on the recipe. I do get asked a lot, how do you search for recipes on my website? So you have to go to the blog tab and there's a search bar. So you could type in the name of the recipe, Reese's Monster Cookies, and it will immediately take you to that recipe. Just enter in the keywords and it will bring up any recipes that those keywords are in. So you don't even necessarily have to know the name of the recipe, if you know what's in the recipe, you should be able to find it on the blog portion of my website. Also on my website are all of my discount codes. So if you're looking for a discount code to order a product, those are also on my website. And I do share all of the points for all plans and calories as well. I also get asked a lot about printing recipes from my website. Unfortunately, the server I use for my website does not have a printing function. There are two ways that you can print recipes. One, you can copy and paste it into a Word document or a document on your Mac computer and print it from there or you can screenshot the recipe and email it to yourself or save it in a folder on your computer. In hindsight, I wish I would have went with a server that had a print function, but there are workarounds and ways around printing off my recipes. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit that little subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box again for all 10 of these recipes, my website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us over there as well. Thank you so much for watching and let me know down in the comments if you'd like a part three for this recipe series. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!